So I saw somebody make a booklet and I wanted to make one for my for the garden journal that I'm working on. So what I have is just some regular paper. This is actually 28 pound paper. Like I said before, I kind of like it. And, and it's letter size. I just get it at Staples. <laughs> and I'm cutting them in half. Just um, with my paper trimmer. And this, I had a, a paper trimmer incident quite here. So I had to go and get another sheet of paper. No biggie, it happens. Right? And so once I got the other sheet of paper, I carefully put it back into the trimmer. And this time it worked. Yay me. So then I got, I just folded each of the halves of paper in two and, um, you know, as best as I could. And uh, I got this stencil and, but I wanted, I didn't want the pages to be completely white, but I wanted them also to have some space to write in because, you know, what's the point of having a booklet or to journal in or whatever. So I measured the pages and then I made a little um, a little sheet of paper. I cut it down so that it would fit inside of the of the pages. So there would be, I'm just trying to make it so it would just kind of be in the middle of the pages. So then I took um, that piece of paper and I laid it down on on the pages. And then I took my a stencil, which I thought was kind of cool for the garden journal, and some um, wilderness distress oxide, and I went around the edges with a blending brush so that it would leave I want to you know leave an edge around there, and so I did that on all the pages. And I think it came out pretty cool. So I went and I did it on the inside also. I'm going around the pages and you can just see here how I just, this is sped up because it does take a little bit of time. And I did get ink all over my fingers, but you know, hey, what we do for art, right? So I didn't want to show you guys or have to make you sit through all of me doing this. So I just, magically did them all off camera. Hey! So I took all of these together and I decided that it needed corners. I decided I wanted to put corners on them. You know, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with this little corner rounder thing. So I did all the corners. I did them two at a time because, you know, the paper was thin enough to do that. So I rounded all those corners with that little paper cutter, a little punch. And I, I did believe this punch is in my Amazon if anybody wants to get that. So I had the inside made, and I, I really thought that card came out cool. I decided it needed a cover, so I got some cardstock. This is double-sided cardstock from that Stamperia Shabby Rose. Um you know, that stamp pad. And I measured and I cut it down so that it would fit over top of my lovely little journal, which I think is really cute. I had to measure it again and again and again because, you know, hey, my memory isn't what it used to be. <laughs> so I had that and I decided, you know what, maybe see if they go together. Oh, might as well. Might as well use those corners too. So I went ahead and punched those corners and and made sure they were all there. And I was trying, which side do I want on the outside? I, I said I'd do this side. So I went ahead and did that. And so then I inked around the outside. And with, um, I was using Vintage Photo. It's pretty much what I use, my go-to. So I went ahead and inked everything. And then I put it inside. And decided that I would clip it. And 
um, just because I wanted to keep the pages together because I decided that the best way to do this would be to sew it. So once I um, got it sewn and I was happy with it, I decided that I wanted to make pockets. Of course, because in the side of the booklet, I thought it would be really cute to have some pockets in there. So I took the leftover pieces of cardstock and I made a couple of little pockets. I think I made them about two and a half inches deep and, you know, the size of the actual inside of the, of the little journal, little booklet, little booklet. I had a little trouble with this punch. It didn't want to punch. I had to, I had to give it a stern talking to. <laughs> Finally it did, and so I inked around the edges of that, and went ahead and put those, glued those on, using some art glitter glue, because they are so cute. I haven't, I don't know what I'm going to put in the pockets, but maybe, maybe that's for another day, but I went ahead and used the other side of the fabric and I glued right around the center. Right around the center. No, right around the edges. Tina, what? So, went ahead and put that in there. And then I was looking through my stash to try to find some stuff to go on the front of this. I tried a couple of different things. I think these are some freebies that were from Stephanie at My Porch Prints, I believe, in her Facebook group. I thought they, I really liked this picture of the little camper. I thought it would be, you know, kind of like having a she shed in the garden because I always wanted one of those. So I liked that. And then I was kind of thinking and contemplating on whether I wanted to put a P, another. You know me, I would have to go through all kinds of different decisions before I finally decide to come up on something. And I was looking through all of the ephemera that came with, you know, the kits that I was using for the junk journal. And I don't know, I just kind of, you know, me looking through everything, making you guys look with me. I guess I could have cut this part out, but, you know. Then I decided to look in my drawers and I decided that I would maybe use this butterfly. But, you know me, I kept kind of thinking about which butterfly I wanted to use. And so I kept on, you know, and finally I decided, I think I probably decided to go with the original one. <laughs> Yay me. Uh, tried a bunch of different ones. And, uh, you know, the pink ones. The pink ones are just too much. So... Yep, I decided to go with the original one. Could have saved us all a lot of time if I'd have done that. But that's just the way I am. <laughs> so I then I'm looking for a label. I'm like, okay, maybe a label. So I glued that on to the top. And then I decided to look for different labels. And I finally decided on this one put that down there so I'm kind of happy with that and then I decided you know if I'm gonna put this in my junk journal it's gonna need a pocket <laughs> of course I have to have a pocket to put this journal in so I got another piece of that leftover cardstock and here I am um, scoring it at a half inch around the edges and then I decided it's gonna be too big so I wanted to see where it would fit score a half inch from that mark and then cut it down trim it so, um, I wanted to figure out where the middle was, and I was going to score it. I didn't get quite in the middle, but that's okay. It came out cute anyway, I think. So, I cut this down the middle almost to the center, and I cut off those corners. And then I folded it off frame so you can't see, but then I folded the middles, middle things, um, in the center, inked it all up out of frame, so you know, because I like to keep y'all guessing. And then I, I was thinking, <laughs> I can't believe how far out of frame I am, whatever. 
<laughs> okay, well, you know, hey, you see what I'm doing. I'm basically just inking up the thing. And then I am going to glue those flaps down. Glue in the flaps, glue in the flaps. And then I'm going to go into the journal and I'm going to see if I can find a page that I like that I want to put it in. And I decided this would be pretty because it's right next to that, um, the one with the big rose. I thought that would be pretty right there on some bubble paper. So I glued it down and then there you go. Okay, so I wanted to show you how it ended up. Here is this and it is a, probably need to, whoops. <laughs> Tina, what? Y'all, it's such a perfect fit. It barely goes in there. Anyway, so there it goes. It's a really, I think it came out really nice. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you later.